Hi, and welcome to Always Dolls. Today, we are inspired to create a simple version of the Community Center from American Girl's new World by Us release. In this video, we share with you how to make the fun multicolored lockers and real chalkboard wall with attached desk. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and subscribe to support our channel. So, let's get making! We will start with the lockers. For this, we have 5mm foam board bought at Eckersley's Art and Craft, but you can substitute this material with cardboard. Cut the back wall, 4 dividing walls, and 15 side walls. Prepare the back wall by dividing it into 9 sections. We referenced an image from AG's website to match our paint colours with the different colours of the lockers. But you can always customise the colours to suit your aesthetic. With the bright checkerboard pattern complete, flip the wall over for the chalkboard. Here we use chalkboard contact paper that we bought from Kmart for $3 a roll. To make the contact paper appear used, like the AG version, we use white chalkboard pen and rub the ink around the edges of the wall. We also drew some cute butterflies. Next, take all your dividing walls and mark the foam board at 10 cm increments so you can paint each section the corresponding locker colour. Note, you will need to mark and paint the underside of your foam board for the second and third rows. Take five side wall pieces per row. The top lockers have two green walls, two bright yellow walls, and a light yellow wall. We also painted one side of our bright yellow wall in light yellow to save foam board. To make the lockers, we recycled a cereal box with white paperboard on the inside. Find the established crease in your box, then draw a 14 by 10 cm rectangle against it. On the opposite side of the crease, measure and draw a 2.5 cm wide tab. You will need to cut five doors. For added detail, mark the centre point of the door, then draw horizontal lines for vents, three near the top and three near the bottom. Ours are six centimetres long and spaced one centimetre apart. Cut along these lines. Then cut half centimetre vertical slits at each end so we can fold the paperboard upward to give the vents a 3D appearance. Paint your doors. With all the pieces ready, we can assemble the locker unit one row at a time. Working from left to right, glue your light yellow door to the blank side of the light yellow sidewall piece. Now glue the side wall to the left edge of the base dividing wall. Take the double sided yellow piece and glue it to the base, making sure the door closes flush against the foam board edge. Now glue the green locker door to one of your green side walls. Adhere the second bright yellow piece to the green wall, sandwiching the tab in between. Attach this to the base, matching up the colours for correct alignment. Finish by gluing the second green wall to the far right, making sure the painted side faces in. It should look like this. To help keep our locker doors shut, glue a rectangle of foam board behind the paperboard door. It should fit snugly but not too tightly inside the locker walls. Paint this internal foam board the same colour as the locker. Glue on the top dividing wall to close in the lockers. Repeat these steps to make the middle set of blue, pink and hot pink lockers. Then repeat again to make the bottom trio in peach, orange and bright yellow. From more paperboard, draw the shape of the locker latch as seen on screen. Cut it out to get a template. Trace and cut two per locker, gluing them together for dimension. Adhere a small diamante in each corner to mimic the rivets. These are from our scrapbooking embellishment stash. Paint your latches silver. Glue a piece of silver painted paper behind each latch. Then affix the latch to your locker. Insert a round push pin for the combination dial, securing on the inside of the locker door with a drop of hot glue. Following this step, stack and adhere each row of lockers together. Then, glue the back wall to the unit. 
For the desktop, we are switching to thick 10mm foam board. Cover with wood grain contact paper. For this craft, we are making faux drawers. Cut the base, two side walls and front piece. Glue the drawers together first. Next, paint the drawer fronts light green and a dark green. In the AG version, the drawer itself is grey. Adhere your drawers to the underside of the desktop, so your dark green drawer is side left and your light green drawer is side right. Next, roll A4 sheets of computer paper around a wooden dowel to make tubes. The paper width is perfect for our desk legs, measuring 21 centimeters. Paint the legs a light brown. Pop a rubber stopper cap, these were bought at Bunnings Hardware Store, to the end of each tube to mimic AG's decorative feet. To position, flip the desktop over, measure in 7.5 cm from each end and 1 cm from the front edge. Partially cut holes into the foam board to provide a place to anchor our legs. Fill the hole with hot glue then insert your legs, making sure they are straight. Our drawer handles are just beads glued to the back of a 5 cm skinny stick, then painted silver. Hot glue the desktop to the back wall 20 cm from the bottom edge. Cut two more large rectangles of 5mm foam board. Paint your narrow piece grey. Cut a thick piece of foam board for the very top and paint grey too. Complete the build by gluing your narrow piece to the right side of the lockers and the thick piece above it. To mimic the butterfly mural wall, we screenshot the design from an excellent unboxing video by the Upside Down Robot, link in description. Resize to fit an A4 sheet, then print off enough to cover both sides. Attach this piece to the left side of the lockers and also to the left edge of the desktop. Perfect! We also screenshot some of the posters from AG's official website pictures and glued them directly to the butterfly wall and chalkboard wall above the desk. If you enjoyed this craft, we'd love it if you hit that like button and subscribed to support our channel. If you'd like to keep crafting items from the World By Us release, click the card to see Dolls and DIY's amazing mini fridge tutorial. See you soon for more miniature crafting fun!